Hey guys, it's Yugi here from GeoGaming. I'm back with another tutorial. Now it's just not another basic uh, build tutorial like Command Blocks, not like just a review of like that giant statue. And today I made a guillotine. It's uh, they made they use it much like uh, like um, in the years. 1500, 500 till 1500. So it's a very old, and they use it to uh, chop people's head off. So then you go stand over here with your head uh, through something like this here, like a gap, and then um, a giant blade will fall down and chop your head off. Now of course it doesn't really work right here with blades, so I did it a little bit different. I will demonstrate it with you, Bob. There you go. And he's dead. So I didn't, I only had to use, surprising enough, uh, one uh, kind of um, uh, command, and that's the set block command. Because um, basically, what happens, I can show you down here. See those command blocks? They set the target of like a little bit above the, the guillotine itself. So it does more damage because how harder it falls, the harder it damage. So um, a villager has as much hard hearts as a player itself. So it, you could also kill a player with this. That not a very cool thing. But um, all I did is just set block command on the place where you want it to have with anvil in it, just like this. So you can actually anvil falls down. I did it three times. Only have to watch out that you don't use it on the same spot. Like this one is the lowest, then this one, then this one. Now basically, what happens? The hops. Basically, what happens if you flick this switch? The uh, block of redstone will come down and activate all three of the command blocks. And because of this is a half slab. It breaks the anvils, like if you can see right here, even if I do it like this, it will break. So, um, you also, you have to watch out that no one gets out, because you can hop over it. But you can see also the falling anvils killing the villager. So, um, that's actually basically it, how you build it. Just a switch right here, or get a little gap where someone can step in. Like a little bit detailed, so it can got this, those pillars. And when you hit the switch, the, the piston will come down, activate all three of the command blocks. You have, before I tell further, you have to set those coordinates right. You can't do it just like a free coordinates. I tried before, but it wouldn't work, even with that one, wouldn't work. And yeah, this basically what happens. It, uh, activates all three of them, spawns the anvils, come down and immediately breaks the anvils. So you don't need too much for it. So that's actually it. You can try it out by yourself. The suggestion was of Honeyfox from Honeyfox Minecraft because I re um, actually run out of ideas to make. So I asked some people to um, the suggestion to, uh, of what I should make. Honeyfox said I should make a guillotine and here it is. Uh, it will be on my channel, on the side his channel, so you can check him out. Also, please leave a suggestion on my Twitter or in your comment below what I should make next. It doesn't have to be redstone, just something to build like a tank or a cool house. Just leave it in your comment or on my Twitter, it will be in the description as well. And um, then I can make a video about it. So that's all I want to say for this episode. I really like this thing. I'm GG from Geo Game. Uh, I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all later. And before the video actually stops, watch out playing with this because this could happen to you as well, and he's still spinning with you. Nah, just kidding. Just a regular villager.